Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Optic Donner's Optic Basketball 10 box blaster case, half a case. Pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got Nick on the Nick cam right there popping open those packs for us, so big thanks to him. Two things happening here. At the beginning of the break, with one dice roll, we're gonna give away the Pelican to someone in the break. At the end of the break, we're gonna re-randomize everybody's names, different dice roll. And we're giving away, what, two $50 break credits? Yeah, two $50 break credits to the top two spots. So pretty nice stuff. Let's give away the Pels first, from Zach and the Hawks down to Chris and the Wizards and everybody in between. Let's kill that blank spot right there. And let's roll it, let's randomize it. Five times, one and a four. Name on top, Pels. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five times, congrats to Chris Bay. Nice. After five, you've got the Pels right there. There you go. Bam. So now let's see if these 10 blaster boxes cooperate. Maybe find some hollow Zions in here. Big thanks to all of these folks right here. There's the official printout. And Nick's helping us out, so this this might fly by in record time. We'll have, we'll have even more time for that football mixer. You can still see Nick's hands in the camera above my head, so you can see that all, the, all of them are being ripped properly and safely and accurately. No funny business happening up there. All right, good luck. Now, veteran commons don't ship, but obviously these hollows will ship. And here's a good example right here. Giannis, Kobe, LeBron James, and the second year Luka cards, those will ship. Just those. Even if they're a common. So the Bucks will get this one. Chris Bay on the board. Not numbered. Did you pull like an out of 10 Ignis last night? Or a couple nights ago? Yeah. I was shocked that that no, someone was like was going for like it was a low number but still going for like out of like hundreds of dollars three four hundred yeah. bucks it's crazy right that's how crazy this hobby is ladies and gentlemen I don't know how much that base one's gonna go for probably not nearly as much but I'm telling you a lot of value in this basketball right here um no I don't think you're an idiot. Wixta, I think I just wrote the wrong number in there. But as you can see, the mixer is on the schedule, so it's gonna fill. It's gonna go. My bad. Ten already happened and is uploaded, and eleven is supposed to happen in a little bit. Ooh, look at this lime green Luka Doncic, my house. That's gonna go to who with that one? Who who a Lin with that? 007, just 70 off his jersey number out of 149. Very nice. Oh, actually, that looks really cool, actually. The navy blue and the, and the lime green lettering. There's Clint Capella. Hi, Jerome. And a Magic Johnson autograph out of a blaster box? That's pretty nice. That goes to Rob and the Lakers. He got my Lakers, straight up. Huh. 20 out of 25. Nice. 
unlimited classes in my studio. What? But there's a catch. You never actually come to my studio. I would come to my stand up class no. every day right in the home on the open. I don't have to go to your studio? Sounds like a scam to me. So you make me do all the work, get all this stuff, and she just dances around. She's like, she, she, does, she doesn't even know if I'm doing it the right way or not. Like, she's not even there to tell me. I could be doing it the wrong way. Man, unbelievable. Oh, nice checkerboard, Clint Capella, for the Rockets. There was a kid yesterday... Who, uh, who I ended up banning because he was being annoying. Um, asked, asked us about a job. Well, we're not going to say his name. He was bugging Jason. He was... He got in a fight with somebody, I think. I know. It's the same thing happened, too. That was the real reason. But um, but it's like asking if we were hiring. I was like, yeah, sure. We need some, we need some people. You know, he's like, oh, but I'm like out of state. And I was like, oh, okay, so what were you thinking of doing? It's like a virtual assistant. And I was just like, <laughs> that made me laugh. So, it, Lucas Amanich, Spurs, Colin Smith. Yeah, let, let's entrust you to all of our passwords and all of the stuff so you can be a virtual, like, we can't even monitor you. We don't know if you're actually working or not, just taking a paycheck. You know, like, like I, I, I don't have anything against like, uh, against like, well, no, I have nothing against hustle. I have nothing against like millennials either. Right. But that was such a millennial sort of answer. <laughs> like, I was like, that just, that just blew my mind. Oh boy. That was pretty funny. Thanks Nick for oh, popping open these kids. Let's bring them all into the main camera here. So you can see my hands right here, grabbing the final packs, the boxes. Well, Ja, is he, was he, that guy was being serious yesterday? He'll tell you he wasn't, but if I said yes, he'd probably take the job. You know what I mean? It's one, like one of those. It's like the people who are like, oh, I was just kidding, but they really weren't kidding. It was one of those things. And it's like, you weren't kidding. Don't tell me you were kidding. I, know, I want to find a better R.J. Barrett, though. I mean, this insert's nice, but... R.J. Barrett, we need, like, we need, like, a, we need, like, a silver, a hollow R.J. Barrett out of here. Another Doncic. Here's the R.J. Barrett for Jed. Jackson Hayes. Gerald Green, Kobe White. We want a hollow Kobe White, too. Yeah. Yeah, he, he probably would he probably would fail at it. I think he was I think he was annoying Jason on Sunday too, so I guess it was a long time coming. Aw. Zach Paul, you gotta send, sell this to Matt Stubblefield. Although I think he wanted a silver Seiko out of Prism, not a hollow rated rookie out of different product. But Zach Paul, Matt Stubblefield will probably be a buyer. Maybe. There you go. That's last spot mojo too, ladies and gentlemen. That was the last team was just sitting there, waiting, waiting for everybody. Maybe even waiting for Stubblefield. Chris with the Bucks. Chris Bay with the Bucks. Top loaders. That's a terrible answer. If it's up there, I'm quitting feud. 
Trey Young, hollow. Yeah, more Giannis than usual popping. Cake. All right. Metamucil. All right, fiber. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Can't imagine Grant. That's a good answer. Cookies. It's too close to brownies, but I guess it's different. All right, LeBron for Rob. A few more boxes to go. My house, Zion Williamson. That'll be for Chris Bay, who won the Pels. Jordan Poole rated rookie, D'Angelo Russell, Warriors edition. I mean, honestly, we can't. I mean, we can't top load every rated rookie card, but it's worth holding on to those Taco Falls and those Jordan Pools and Eric Pascals and whatnot. Who knows? Who knows? They could be a little bit of a late bloomer, like uh, like like Oladipo. And they can explode onto the scene, and next thing you know, those cards are worth like twenty bucks, then forty bucks, then fifty bucks, then graded out to a couple hundred bucks. So you never know. John Morant. I think we got a good feeling about John Moran. My house going to Matthew Shira. You know, same with Hachimura. Chris Dunn Hollow. Malik Monk for Charlotte. And no name Kendrick Nunn. TJ Leonard with that one. Now, this is not a hollow, but I think some people do. There is some secondary market value because I think this is his first card in a major set, and they forgot his name. So there's a little secondary market value there. And he's playing some good ball, too. I think he started outpacing Tyler Hero as the season went on. I feel like Hero started off hot and then cooled off significantly, but then Kendrick Nunn just steadily kept playing better and better and better from the get. Cam Reddish is back there. It's Wesley Matthews. And a rated rookie hollow, Kyle Guy. This guy. Or Guy. Kyle Guy. Going to, going to Rob Carruthers and the Sacramento Kings. Same with this guy. Especially since it's a hollow. You know, put it in a drawer somewhere and then check back on Kyle Guy in a couple of years. And see what he's turned into. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is that. That was the break. Let's give away some money. Thanks to Nick once again for helping us out. That blaster went a little bit faster. So that gives us more time to do more breaks tonight. All right, now, one equals one, right? One team, one entry, top two, 50 bucks a break credit after seven times. Good luck. And seventh and final time after seven. There you go. Three and a four, seven times. Top two. Christopher Bay, what a break for you. And Colin Smith. There you go. Those two, 50 bucks a break credit going your way. I'm going to send that right now after this break. Check your emails. If you don't see it, check your spam folder. If you still don't see it, let us know and we'll figure it, we'll figure it out. Thanks for watching. That was Pick Your Team 2, 2019-2020, Panini Donners Optic Basketball. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.